Greece, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Ireland, now Cyprus, all broke. And other European nations are close. Why? Because they're nanny states. And there are not enough workers to support all the entitlements these progressive paradises are handing out. And that's Bill O'Reilly of Fox News, Richard. You know, he gets away with saying things which no undergraduate in the United States with a responsible economics professor could ever get away with. Ooh. If you want to refer to things as nanny states, then the place you go in Europe is not the southern tier, Portugal, Spain, and Italy. The place you go are Germany and Scandinavia because they provide more social services to their people than anybody else. And guess what? Not only are they not in trouble economically, they're the winners of the current situation. The unemployment rate in, in Germany is now below 5%. Ours is pushing between 7 and 8%. So, uh, Please, get your facts right, Mr. Riley. The mm -hmm. nanny state, you call it, the program of, of countries like Germany and Scandinavia, who tax their people heavily by all means, but who provide them with social services that would be the envy of the United States. A national health program that takes care of you, whether you're employed or not, and gives you proper health care. In France, for example, the law says when you go to work, you get five weeks paid vacation. That's not an option. That's the law. You get support when you're a, a, a new parent for your child care and so forth. They provide services, and they're successful in Germany and Scandinavia, much more than we are in the United States, and much more than those countries in the South. So they're not broke in the South because they're nanny states, since the nanny states par excellence are doing better than everyone. The actual truth of Mr. O'Reilly is the opposite of what he says. The more you do nanny state, the better off you are during a crisis and to minimize the cost of the crisis. That's what the European economic situation actually teaches. He's just making it up oh. as he goes along to conform to an ideological position that is harder and harder for folks like him to sustain, so he has to reach further and further into fantasy. Oh! Oh, that hurts. Oh, God, he's bleeding on the ground, man. Uh, Bill, you all right, man? You all right down there? Uh, sorry, an actual economist had to step in and set you straight, dog. Are you all right? God, he's going to be hurting for a few weeks, man. God, everything Richard Wolf said there is 100% correct. And I have further evidence to back him up, right? So the 2008 recession hits. Uh, you want to know which places in the world fared the best during the recession? I'll give you a guess. All of the so-called nanny states, the welfare states, in reality they're called social democracies. You go across the board, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Sweden, um, even Canada, which has uh, did a, a very good job weathering the recession. They didn't have a tremendous crash like we did here. Why did they not have a tremendous crash? Because they regulate the banking system heavily and efficiently. They didn't do the crazy repeal like we did here of Glass-Steagall. They didn't let, uh, you know, they didn't let their uh, financiers run wild and the big corporations and the banks run wild like we did here. God, again, I can't tell you how right he is. And he's so right that I'm, I'm struggling to come up with things to add to it because he said everything that I wanted to say. I mean, the places that fared best and are not, it didn't get hit by as worse a recession as the U.S. did. I'll say it one more time. The so-called nanny states and the welfare states, they largely weathered the storm because they had effective government. Now, those places are also, they're not, it's not like they're just socialist, right? They're a mix of capitalism and, and government, which is socialism. It's a mix of the two, and it's a healthier mix of the two. They have all the good parts of socialism. See, our socialism is give $4 billion to ExxonMobil and fight people overseas, right? The only uh, okay programs we have are Social Security and Medicare, and Medicaid, right? Uh, and unemployment insurance. Uh, over there, they, they have uh, health care for everybody. They have universal college. They have universal uh, daycare. They have all these different, I mean, five weeks paid vacation by law. They get all the good parts. We don't have the good parts. We should steal that. Uh, Richard Wolf, man, absolutely nailed it. God, I hope O'Reilly sees that clip, man, because I want to see O'Reilly try to respond and just have multiple factual errors, and then watch Richard Wolf come back and destroy him even more. <laughs>